That has seriously saved me so much time. And out of all the comments I read, which there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, that is the only one that I saw that worked. What he told me was this. Hey guys, how you doing? Really? Awesome. Well, guess what? It's been about a week since I released that Crazy Ken episode about macOS High Sierra, which included a little bit of a rant from me. And I must say, I'm very grateful for all of the engagement it has pulled together. And in fact, a lot of these comments were really nice to read because a lot of people were having similar problems to me. So it's good to know I'm not the only one suffering with High Sierra. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about some of these comments and talk about what has been discovered recently. I have some good news and some bad news. What should we start with first? Vote now on your phones. Good news first. I actually got a lot of people saying there was something wrong with my particular installation because several people mentioned on their newer hardware or on fresh installs, High Sierra was just fine for them. So many people, even on Twitter and you know, YouTube, just all over the place were messaging me saying what I should try. So I tried something simple and this is what Apple recommended to me. It's like an Occam's razor situation. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. So what did I do? I went to the good old app store and reinstalled High Sierra. Did that fix the problems? Well, the main problem being the interface lag, not so much. So far I've noticed it, and this could just be a placebo thing, but it's not as bad, but you can see it's still choking. It's, but it doesn't, yeah, it's still a little bad at times. And, you know, I'll play back some Final Cut Pro because this is one of the main things we were having problems with. Everything in here, you know, there's metal on all sides of these walls. So you, you can see it's dropping frames. So the good news is I got a lot of great advice. The bad news is so far what I've tried, which is really only one thing, isn't really working, but there is hope, and I'll get to that in a second. Only one person out of the hundreds of comments we received actually recommended a little tip to me, and so far, it's actually working. It's like a temporary workaround. So, before I get to that, I got a little more news for you. I'm gonna try a few things. Even though I reinstalled High Sierra, and I'm still experiencing problems, I still want to install High Sierra on a separate, completely fresh, partition and test Final Cut Pro on there. That will help me narrow down a problem. One, if I install High Sierra on an external system and run Final Cut Pro on there and it doesn't perform well, I'm going to assume High Sierra does not like this older hardware and I'm not going to use it. However, if it does work, then I'm going to assume something is just wrong with my current installation and I need to just reformat and reinstall. And that might be what I have to do because honestly, this user account has been upgraded since Mac OS X Leopard. <laughs> How many of you guys out there have been upgrading for that long? There are old files and folders on here with creation dates that go way, way, way back. Ever since my old computer with Leopard, back in like 2007 or 2008, I have been upgrading the system to what it is now. So there's probably some barnacles and crust in there, and it very well could be my system installation just got damaged via the upgrade. And a reinstall, as of right now, hasn't fixed that. It might have helped the performance a little bit, Stuff in here wouldn't burn down. but ultimately I'm still experiencing lag. The other problem had to do with security. And Apple had a couple of issues with this, but they patched them pretty quick. So the good news is the whole root security issue, well, that has been patched actually pretty quickly after I did the rant video. So just for shits and giggles, let's give it a testicle test. Oh, why did quizzical testicle? Anyway, let's type in root and nope, won't let me in. Let's try it again. Nope, won't let me in. So it looks like that is fixed because earlier I could bypass the administrator password just by typing in root. So it looks like Apple tackled that. What else am I gonna do? I'm gonna wait for software updates. Final Cut Pro is getting an update in the not too distant future and I'm pretty sure High Sierra 10.13.2 is also gonna be coming out pretty soon. So I'm still having some hope that those updates will fix those lag and performance issues on this hardware. 
But if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to maybe look into a different solution, possibly reformatting and reinstalling, or reformatting and just installing Sierra, an older version of the system software. Some people made the argument saying that my hardware is just too old. But as I clearly show in my other rant video, when I was in Sierra, the software performed flawlessly. So this is a software issue, whether it's compatibility with my GPU or it doesn't like the old hardware or maybe there's some barnacles and crust in the user account that's been upgraded for over a decade. I don't know that yet, but stick around because I'm going to experiment and test some things out and I will fix this. I will find a solution, but you're gonna have to stick around and watch me do it through these tech video logs. So far, you guys have been pretty helpful and I really appreciate the community response. That's why I wanted to do this follow-up episode to let you guys know what was going on. So those videos will be coming in the not too distant future. However, I did say one person shared a tip with me that has actually been a lifesaver and I'm going to find your user account through my giant list of comments and give you a thank you because seriously, this has saved my workflow. It's still a little annoying, but it's way better than having to reboot constantly to try to get my computer working. So watch this, it's a pretty simple uh, little tip. And after making his money and- Okay, so we can see there is lag going on right now, but what he told me was this. If I open up the system preferences, and I change my screen resolution, and then I change it back. The industry was going. He decided to. Uh... It's now perfectly smooth. Amazing. So I do have a temporary fix to kind of wrestle with High Sierra until I experiment and test out some more things and wait for future software updates. That is good. Again, it's still a little annoying, but it's way better than constantly having to reboot or boot into a Sierra system. So thank you again. I'm gonna to try to find your username and give you a little shout out because that is seriously saved me so much time. And out of all the comments I read, which there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, that is the only one that I saw that worked. So guys, I'm still curious. Is High Sierra being a problem for you? What did you do to fix it? Do you have any other solutions? Or is it good for you? What is your experience? I am curious. And again, stick around because I'm going to test more things and I'm going to get this working. But for now, I'm calling this a stalemate. I'm not done yet, I'm not giving up, I will figure this out, because I still like the Mac and I still love this computer as my daily driver. Even though it's four years old, I use it every day. I just wanna get it working. Thanks for your support, guys. Catch the crazy and pass it on.